<laughs> that sign a couple dozen times and not notice that it was misspelled. Michelle, how's Wednesday looking? Well, Wednesday is looking uh, a little bit better than the last couple of days. We'll still see a mix of sun and some cloud cover, and there's still a very slight chance of a shower, but it's a little bit drier, brighter, and milder than the day yesterday. They say that as I track a few sprinkles over Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts from overnight. These are moving out and the clouds are starting to clear too. threat trackers in the green. No severe weather today, Thursday or Friday. We are looking mainly dry here through the end of the school and work week, and this is what it looks like over the hurricane barrier camera where the clouds have been clearing out. That's the view over Narragansett Beach and the temperature is not quite as chilly as yesterday. We had a lot of mid 30s and upper 30s yesterday. Today we're mostly in the 40s to start. 43 Smithfield, 45 Cumberland, Providence mid 40s at uh, Rhode Island College, Warwick. You're running at 43 degrees and those temperatures in North Kingstown mid 40s and again in the 40s in Tiverton. So it's same old, same old here. Area of low pressure sitting up to our north and east, continuing to influence our weather, bringing in cooler than normal temperatures. But position here going to give us a little step in the right direction. Again, still that north and northwest wind most of the day today. Best chance of a shower later today will come along the eastern Massachusetts coastline. So future cast, if you're out and about this morning, expect some sunshine heading into the afternoon. Uh, mostly a uh, dry afternoon for us. You can see just that isolated little blip of green mixture of clouds and sunshine dry for most of the evening hours and then overnight tonight some increase in the clouds into tomorrow morning and really a little bit more cloud cover around Thursday as compared to today, but it's a chilly start temperatures in the 40s sunrise 531 this morning afternoon highs 60. Hope Valley adds a step in the right direction. We'll be between 55 and 60 along the coastline late in the day. Winds turn to the southwest, and that's what's brought those temperatures down a little bit compared to inland spots. So by 3, 4 o'clock, you're starting to feel that. But inland areas, upper 50s and low 60s. East Providence at 61, Woonsocket, about 60 to 62 degrees. And those temperatures are similar in Fall River, New Bedford, and Seekonk. This is, uh, again, closer to normal, at least. Average high by mid-May is mid 60s, about 66 degrees. We'll be dropping out of any low 60s that we see early in the evening hours into the 50s. So by 11 o'clock down to about 51 and overnight lows at around 45. Let's talk about this weekend storm. Could be a nor'easter for us with rainfall totals as high as one to three inches of rain. Northeast gusts at the coastline 30 to 40 miles per hour. Heaviest of the rain, strongest of the winds right now timing out to be Saturday night into Sunday. So it's a dry start to Saturday. Rain widespread as you head off to bed Saturday night and when you wake up on Mother's Day morning Sunday as we head into Sunday afternoon, the intensity of that rain will start to ease up a little bit. Maybe a little bit of drying out by the end of the day on Sunday, but pretty much a stormy second half of uh, Saturday afternoon and into your day on Sunday. Temperatures again close to 60 today, tomorrow upper 50s, Friday, Saturdays upper 50s, Sundays a little cooler with the rain and gusty winds, a lingering shower on Monday, maybe finally turning the corner here, second half of next week.